Happy Holy Week, everyone. It's Father Pat Cahill at St. Eugene Parish in Asheville, North Carolina, wishing everyone a happy Holy Week and a blessed time uh, as we enter these holy days. Tomorrow, of course, is Holy Thursday, which is the celebration of Jesus's Last Supper and the institution of the Holy Eucharist. Jesus gave gave us the gift of his body and blood in the forms of bread and wine um, at this last supper and celebration and of course gave us a model of service when he washes the apostles feet we catholics believe that when we receive the bread and wine that are consecrated that the bread and wine are in fact transformed into the body blood soul and divinity of jesus's sacramental presence we don't think that we are just acting out uh, the Last Supper or a reenactment. It's a symbol of the meal of the uh, bread and wine, but, uh, but it's much more than simply a symbolic gesture. We believe Jesus is actually present in uh, the Holy Eucharist and coming into our bodies in that sacred moment of Holy Communion. The word Eucharist is a Greek word that comes, uh, that means thanksgiving. And it's uh, sometimes difficult to be thankful, especially during difficult times. But nonetheless, the act of worship of Holy Eucharist is in fact an act of thanksgiving. I recently heard a sermon where the priest was saying that many of his parishioners, and I can relate to this, have communicated how much they miss going to Holy Communion and uh, how much they miss being able to receive Holy Communion during uh, this time of national crisis and international pandemic. Several have said that when they begin attending Mass again, when we, when we are able to gather back together as God's people, that they will certainly be more appreciative and receive the body, blood, soul, and divinity, receive Holy Communion with much more seriousness and much more awareness of what they are doing and a heart full of gratitude. Yes, with much more thanksgiving for this astounding gift. Think back to Jesus on that night. He's aware that his passion and death are imminent. He uh, knows that he's going to die uh, really within hours. That was uh, hours away. And what does he do in that moment? He finds a way to ensure to be with us and to pass on his presence to his apostles, disciples, and indeed all of us. So even throughout history, we continue to tap into Jesus's presence uh, in the mystery of Eucharist. Jesus, is, Jesus desires to come to us whenever we make time to receive him, of course, and uh, that's infinitely available he really unites with us and listens to us and loves us, and what a gift this truly is. Now, we can't receive Holy Communion during uh, this time of separation and, um, and civil regulations on the numbers of people that can get together, but I want to remind everyone this is not a new situation for the church. If we look back over the course of the church's history, there have been numerous plagues and pandemics. There are places that it's illegal to be Christian over the course of the last 2,000 years. There are pl many places in the world, even today, that don't have enough priests to uh, bring Holy Communion to God's people. So uh, this is not necessarily a new situation or experience. It may be new for many of us in the context of 21st century United States of America, but uh, if we take a bigger picture, global and historical view, this is not a new uh, reality of not being able to physically receive Holy Communion. So there's this practice I want to conclude with called a spiritual communion, which all of us can practice at home. And I encourage you, especially on Holy Thursday tomorrow, to do this. Pope John Paul II and many other saints have written about a spiritual communion. Um, Thomas Aquinas, Teresa of Avila, 
Padre Pio and many other saints have talked about making a spiritual communion. So basically, all you do is place yourself in God's presence and communicate a strong desire to unite yourself with the Lord Jesus. And you can do this any number of times throughout the day or week, but uh, especially if you happen to be watching any of the mass liturgies online and um, you can uh, enter into this uh, really a perfect time to make a spiritual communion because we're in a mystical way attending the mass. So here's one version that you may consider. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you physically, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. As your pastor here at St. Eugene, I long for the day for us to get back together and to celebrate the sacred mysteries together. And we unite ourselves mystically in a spirit of solidarity and prayer during the Holy Sacred Triduum of Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and Holy Saturday, and of course, uh, Easter Sunday Mass. So we pray in a special way for all of our parish families, for everyone to keep their health and to continue to pray for all of our uh, first responders and uh, healthcare professionals. May God bless all of them and may God bless all of us.